Hello everybody, this is Tina at Tina Stitches. I am here today on Mother's Day uh, to give you an update on what I've been up to. I have been partially participating in Mania. I really haven't posted much on the group, but um, I'm doing it. It's not exactly my own way. I know other people do it this way. And uh, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, life update. Gonzo, as you all know, has had some eye issues. Um, we have him on a medication right now, which may help because we know from using the antibiotics and antibiotic ointment that that because it's still happening, it is definitely a nerve issue. So, um, fingers crossed that the medication works. Right now we're trying a um, over-the-counter eye ointment that's uh, intended for nighttime use, so therefore it lasts longer. So we don't have to you know, six times a day use eye drops, which don't last very long. So we'll see how this goes. Um, he seems to be much more comfortable. Not sure if it's the medication that's working or if it's the ointment that's working, but whatever it is, he is um, much more comfortable. So... Um, Happy Mother's Day to anybody who is celebrating Mother's Day, all the mums out there. I know, um, I believe it's in the UK that Mother's Day is at a different time than the rest of us. You know how it goes. So, um, today it was really nice and warm out, and yesterday it was, it was really warm. And we got the yard set up, mostly set up. Um, the lawn furniture still needs to be washed, but um, it's in its places now. And uh, the yard is mostly raked, and the trees are starting to get some buds. And right now it's a little bit, it's overcast, it's rained a little bit. We took the dogs for a walk earlier, and they are pooped. So um hubby's outside with uh gidget because she really likes being outside and she's she's really easy to control out there gonzo is pooped from the walk so he's taking a nap in the dining room and khaleesi is not in here with me right now but i expect that she will be soon she just can't make up her mind whether she wants to look out the window or be in here with me. So, so stitching. I did a lot of stitching on, well, a little bit of stitching on a lot of things. And I think that's pretty typical for mania. I'm glad that I was able to touch a lot of the projects. Um, some of them haven't been touched since Mania last year because I started them in Mania 2017 and picked them up for their anniversary in 2018, and they're still unfinished. And most of those... Almost all of them... And I'm, I'm actually going to say, actually, that all of them are the reindeer. Yeah, the reindeer and the sleigh by Nora Corbett, the Christmas Eve Courier co Collection. So those are all I started in 2017. A few of them have been finished in, in the time since then and now. And um, there's six deer left over and the sleigh. 
um, one of the reindeer. I'm not happy with the design entirely, so it's kind of put off to the side as a not complete, but what I wanted was completed. So it's not in my list of whips right now. I don't know if that made any sense to you, but it makes sense to me. So uh, where should we start? I think I should probably do the whips that are not mania related. And then we'll get into the mania. So that would be this one here. Um, I picked it up last night and I worked on it for a little bit. And I'm almost at a page. Well, it'll actually be two page finishes because there's it's this motif is on both pages. So I will insert a picture here of where it was before. And this is what it's supposed to look like. That's Alice by RETM. And this pattern was a gift from a faithful watcher and it is spoken for already so I know it's hard to find I'm sorry and my washing machine is jumping around but uh, we'll let it go for now and here it is now so what I've worked on was this motif here and as you can see it is almost finished. I probably could have finished it last night but it was getting late and so all that's left there's a little tiny bit of stitching there and then this row here needs to be finished. It mirrors this and then that part is done. And then I just need to pick a color for the keyhole or handle, whatever that's supposed to be there. And then the whole bottom half is done. And then it's just on to the rabbit and Alice in the top half. So there's that. So the next project I'm going to show you is also not mania related and I didn't get out my before, sorry I didn't get out my book, the magazine which it's in. So. This is just going to take a second here. This is, I am calling it England's Rose. I will try to put the details here. It is from a March, I want to say 1998 issue of Stitcher's World magazine, but I could be wrong. And I will put a picture of what it's supposed to look like here. And here it is now. I don't really remember where it was when you last saw it. But I'm pretty sure the last things I did was this. And this, I 
Okay, I don't know why, but my camera just shut down for whatever reason. And now my phone is stinging. Pretty sure that's just a Facebook. Okay, let's turn this on airplane mode. Okay, let's see if we can get this out of the way, right? Okay, and apparently I wasn't sure if this mic would work with this webcam, and when I went back and had a look at the where I was when it froze, when it died on me, it sounds like the mic is working. So, yay. So... Um, so hor sorry if you hear a little bit of, you know, the scratchiness and such that come with microphones. Anyways, this is where I was before, and this is what I was showing you. Um, I think this could be new. And the gold lines in here could be new. I am still waiting for the threads and such that I ordered from the company here. Um, I haven't heard anything about a shipping notice yet, but we'll see. And now that I think about it, you probably did see all of this. What I did was frog some of that. Um, yeah, waiting for those threads, then this is going to take off. So, there's that. And the other non-mania project that I worked on was my project that I am working on almost every single day. I did take about a week earlier in the month when, right when the month switched from April to May, I didn't stitch a whole lot on this. No real reason. I think it was mostly because I was um, wanting to get my numbers in for the um, full coverage fanatics, full coverage monthly 1200 stitches challenge. And so I hesitated because it was at a good stopping point and a good starting point for the next month. Um, so here it is now. So what I worked on is I'll put in a picture here of before and then you can see. So this is Beloved and what I worked on was tying in, stitching in all of the parked threads that I had over here and I'm going to try to get this section of three columns stitched in. And let's see if we can get in closer there. And you might be hearing my dog, Gonzo, barking at my husband coming in. And I know a few other people are stitching on this and it's fun to see the progress. Um, Magic Pond Crafts, is it Magic Pond? I think that's the name of her YouTube channel. She is stitching this and she is stitching it on 14 count Ada 
and it's going to be huge. And she had mentioned that she saw mine and was doubting herself, and it's like, no, keep going. It's going to be a beautiful tapestry-like piece. It's going to be huge. So I hope she continues doing it on the 14 count, and uh, we can compare our progress. So there's that. And uh, if you don't know what it's supposed to look like when it's finished, that's this. Heaven and Earth Designs, Beloved by Del Sessler. And I think it's it might be under something else because her name may have changed since I've printed this. So, if you can't find it under Adele Sessler, try searching Beloved. Because I'm sure it's still on the website. So, I think that wraps it up for all the non-mania items. So that brings mania. Now, I mentioned in my last video that I wasn't sure how, if I was going to do this. But so far, I have been. And what I've been doing is I've been on the days where <clears throat> there was no anniversary piece. I picked up something new out of that collection of kitted up, partially kitted up patterns that I showed in my last video. So the first day would have been Rudolph, but that one is finished. So that meant I could start something new. And I did not open my bags here. So here's my basket of mania goodies. So the first one is the one that I've had the pattern for a long time and Gary from Sunshine Stitchers was showing his mania plans and I was like of course I have to start that so and I know I'm breaking all the rules <coughs> of uh, Gary's with, you know, have everything ready to go and uh, no drinking on the set. So, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. So here is my start on Halloween Fairy by Mirabilia. And I am doing mine on... Thirty two count vintage country mocha. I'm not sure who it's from and all of that because it was in my stash. I'm lucky I still had the sticker that had the color. Um but I actually have the original magazine and there it is finished up. So Gary is doing his on blue and I and that's because I think Vicky had hers on blue and it looked good and I almost went with blue because I do have um, leftover fabric from my couriers, Christmas Eve couriers that it would have looked good on but it just didn't work out. This worked out. I'm happy. So, there's another whip to add to my pile. And we're going to make a pile. 
So that was the first day. The first day was, I think, <clears throat> I picked that one because that's the one that, out of all of them, I wanted to start the most, eager to get my hands on that. So that was day one. Day two would be um, one of the courier, Christmas Eve couriers. I have them all in a bag here. So, let's see, they should be in relative order here. Hold, please. Okay, so what I did was I organized them because, yeah, it was um, stitched pieces in one bag, patterns in another pile. So, I got them in order here. So... Uh, the first one that I worked on would be on the 2nd, because I started it on the 2nd of May 2017. And this is what it looked like before. And this is Dasher. And here it is now. And I believe what I worked on was um, the border for sure, and the um, wreath on his back. That's where it is now. Then the next one, to so have a notebook. The next one that I worked on, I actually was supposed to work on it on the 3rd. Uh, I believe we had company, so I didn't. And uh, so I worked on it on the 4th to make up for it. And this one is Dancer. And I'll put a before picture. And here it is now, and I believe on this one, I believe I worked on the leg. I can tell you in a minute, because, yeah, pretty sure it was that front leg part. And these are all stitched on 32 count Picture this plus Nocturne Belfast. So then there was a new start on the 4th because that was where there was a opening and I have to go get the project that I did there. Okay, so the project that I started on the 4th, just had to double check there, um, I don't have any Star Wars patterns. That would have been perfect. I don't have anything against Star Wars. I really, really like Star Wars, but it just, I didn't have anything. So I started on this. Time to stitch. And I have the clock 
to go with it. And if you remember, the original clock that came was damaged. So I did get a replacement. And I did make a substitution. So originally I had... Sorry about the crinkles. I had these threads pulled and I wasn't sure which set I was going to go with. Whether I was going to go with... The Gentle Arts color combination there, or with the Weeks Dye Works combination. Any, like, I would have picked any of these two, two out of three. And what I ended up going with was. The called for tin bucket by Gentle Arts and Cranberry. Because you all know I love my red. And so far, I have. That much stitched and what I ended up doing was I I stitched the called for tin bucket and when I got to the flower here I looked at the other grays in the selection and I was like red would go good and so that's what I did and I believe on the chart this would have been the color symbol for the red but I'm gonna do the smaller numbers in red and the bigger numbers in the tin bucket and I am going to look for clock mechanics you know the, the workings to make it an actual clock because that's what drew me to it so there's that and then discombobulated Back to the fairies, not the fairies, the Christmas Eve couriers. I'll put this on my lap. So then the next in line was Vixen. And I'll put a picture of where it was here. And that's what it will look like finished. And there's where it is now. And on this one, I believe I worked on the back end. Nope. I filled in the ribbon. I filled in that ribbon. That's what I did. I think, unless that May 5th note is from last year, which is very possible. So, you will know because you saw the before and after. 
And then on the 6th, it was Comet. And here's the before picture. There's what Comet looks like. And here it is now. And on this round, I worked on did I work on? I believe I worked on the front chest there. And you know what? I can grab my phone and have a look because I did post all of these on Instagram. I should have done that the whole time, right? Anyways, it is what it is. So that was Comet. And then after that was another new start. Because that one, I believe it was Prancer, is already finished, framed, kind of. And so that new start for that day was this one. With My Needle by Just Nan. And it was a very small start. Right there. Started at the top. And the directions are a little bit funny because it says I don't know if you can see that but it says on um, like learn how to open a piece of paper pamphlet it says to use two strands of DNC or silk for cross stitches and one strand for back stitching. On 32 count, use one strand of silk for cross stitches and back stitching. It's a little confusing, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that what they meant was on the over one portions use one strand but this is I'm sure this is 32 count and I just want to stretch this out here I will edit this out I should be more like Sunshine Stitchers where they have them all clipped up, ready to go. They're so efficient. So it's hard to see because of my lighting, but that is two strands of silk over two. And it's a little bit dense. It's not horrible, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to rip that out and change it up. We'll see. So, that 
was the 7th of May. And then we're back on to the reindeer for the 8th, 9th, and 10th. And we have I just blanked. Okay, here is where Donner was before. And this is what Donner looks like. And here is Donner now. Donner got legs, I think. I'm <laughs> not 100% sure. Um, you can tell me from that previous picture. And then we have Blitzen. And here's what it looked like before. Here it is now. And Blitzen got more wreath and body. That one I'm sure of because it was more recent than the others. And then that's the end of the reindeer, but there was one more project that is, um, it's not 100% associated with it, but you can't have the reindeer without the sleigh. And here's a picture of where it was before. And here it is now. And there was very little progress on it before. It was just a meager little start. And this was one night of stitching, and I liked the progress that I got on it. And I don't understand why I don't stitch on it more. I say that about all my projects, don't I? They're all wonderful. So, that brings us to the 10th and then the 11th. I did do something yesterday. What did I do yesterday? Oh, I know what I did. I worked on Alice. Alice is not technically a um, mania piece, but I did start Alice by Jardin Privé. I believe, back in 2017. So I had Alice marked in here for the 15th. But I worked on it last night and I didn't mark it in here. So that is, that is it. That was a little bit more unorganized than I wanted it to be but you know I just threw it together at last minute so I still have today's start and whatever other starts I want to do because I've reached the end of the um, anniversaries let's just say um, but today's start is it's kind of like an anniversary start because two years ago I started Mom. It is Mother's Day 
and I started it on Mother's Day 2017. So I might as well start Dad. And it's all it's all kitted up, ready to go. So this is my start today. We'll see how far I get. And I might as well show you, this is the one Christmas Eve courier that I'm finished, not finished. Um, some beads and charms still need to be added. But this is Cupid. And here is where Cupid is. Um, that's where some charms are going to be attached, so that's why I didn't. That's where he is. So the reason why it's not finish, finished is because I haven't made my mind up about that bird. So that's why it's in a limbo there. So that's mania. I did get some haul. Um, one of them I will have to insert a picture because it's too big. I ordered a Omenic frame from the Omenic factory and it came, but it's a little bit bigger than I expected, which is perfectly fine. I can still use it. I just, um, yeah, I can still use it. I like it because it's wide enough that I can do the beads on the mandala which is what I wanted it for. It's a little bit longer than I expected, so I will probably be pay placing another order for shorter parts, and then I can mix them and match them however I need them. The other thing that I ordered was um, I placed an order with so-and-so, And this is part of it, right here. I think you know what this belongs to, don't you? I got a Lowry. I got myself a Lowry with my um, tax refund. So this is going to come in handy. I do have that other uh, wooden stand, which I haven't really used much in the last, I'm, I'm even going to say year because I like to sit reclined. This lets me recline and stitch. I've been using it for the last week. And so far with the reindeer and all the, the smaller projects, it's been working okay. Um, I have my beloved is on my table, on my desk stand back here and but I think that this is really going to help for projects like England's Rose because like I said before I had it propped up on books and it was awkward so this will hold that stand or that frame and I I tried it out it works great for that and of course, while I was there, I couldn't resist ordering one of these because I haven't seen them anywhere else. And it's the Bothy Threads um, Silhouette Pattern for Mad Hatter's Tea Party. They have quite a few different silhouette patterns, a lot of fairy tales, um, there's Cinderella, Rapunzel, the Hansel and Gretel, 
there's a few for like each story and of course I had to go with the tea party comes with the printed fabric and a lot of black floss so this is in my mania basket but I would really like to get my other Alice out of the way before I start this Alice and now I'm wondering if I can get that done by the end of May so I can start this as a mania that would be interesting so that was one of the purchases that came in and the other one is I got this off of one of the stash unloads and this is Nora Corbett's Poison Ivy so another one to add to the collection so many that I want to do um, I'm really going to have to join a Fabric of the Month Club again so that I can get some fabric haul um, piled up for these because that's the only way I'm going to be able to start these is I need fabric. So that's that. I also got some uh, quilting haul. I wanted to make some project bags. Uh, the quilt store I wanted to go to was not open both days that I went so the fabric she has advertised on her Facebook page I will just have to buy online because I don't like going there I, I don't want to have to call a business to find out if they're open when they're advertised that they're open does that make sense so that is probably all that I have to share told you about the life update with the dogs everything else is going fine so I want to reward you for sticking around and I am going to do a $25 gift certificate from 123 to anybody all over the world and if that is not what you would like, let's say you're in Australia or the UK or something and you would prefer something from one of your more local needlework stores, I am willing to talk to you about that. Um, this contest will be, not contest, it's giveaway. Come on, I'm, you don't have to do anything to win this, but you, you will have to comment below. Um, don't say giveaway. Must be 18. Or have your parents' permission. Um, if you say giveaway, I will delete the comment. That's a given. And open worldwide. And until June 8th at midnight. And then I will do a video. In my next video, I will draw a winner. So you have to have your comment in by June 8th. I know there are plenty of Mania videos out there. And so that's why I'm saying in June. I don't know if I'll have another video out in May to announce this. Um, because, you know, life, right? So I want you to comment about... I need a keyword. So I think the keyword I'm going to use is Alice. Because you know I've been crazy about Alice patterns. Especially if you've been watching me from the start. So if your comment has the word Alice in it, you'll be entered for the giveaway. And I think that I am done. I've shown you my whips, my haul, my mania, my dog is asleep on the floor, but I'm not going to show you that because my carpet really needs a good vacuuming. I did have the husband clean the bathroom because it's Mother's Day, you know, so I should at least vacuum. Anyways, I am going to sign off now and I hope you all have a wonderful 
weekend and rest of mania. Don't go too crazy. Bye.